So, the little people in there, it's a set and Apache, in there is the people and it's a is little. And so the Inat Tsaseh have always been um, friends of the people, friends of our medicine people. Uh, basically, I think uh, they come and they live in the earth, that's who they are. They're small people with big eyes. Uh, and who are they? For us, they're Apaches. They are maybe the uh, living beings that live inside the earth still to this day. Uh, for example, in Arizona, we have the Superstition Mountains, very well known throughout the world for um, gold. A lot of people go there. They have this Lost Dutchman theory where um, this guy named Jacob Waltz had gone into the mountain so in like the 1800s and was looking for gold. Um, but the Apaches lived there and uh, prior to him coming into this area uh, this place was uh, very holy for us people because around it uh, was gold poles of, uh, of, of poles just of gold for around it. And when the Spanish Peralta family came from Chihuahua to our land, they ended up taking down these gold poles for themselves. And the land, the mountain is in Apache, uh, is uh, from what the uh, elder medicine lady had called it is four colors, four directions, lightning from within. So in this mountain is lightning. And so it made sense to me why they had the gold poles on the fourth side because the lightning goes up from the earth into the sky, which we sing about from a long time ago. Um, from a long, long time ago. Science barely found this out. You know, so the, uh, the difference there. So the little people are guardians of these places, maybe these portals, maybe these uh, ho holy places where um, sky and earth can be as one and which human people can go into the places and have a experience with them so the little people are also guardians of the inner workings of the earth um, uh, uh, they live in a, a place of paradise where which is inside the earth in a cave uh, inside this cave they say is corn and squash and beans that grow year round and every of the every one of these uh, stalks of corn have four corns on it for ears and uh, that that never die that are constantly there um, and the little people are people who take you into the cave, who take you into the sacred place uh, and, and to experience the reality without having to do ayahuasca, peyote, uh, any of this type of uh, uh, medicines, uh, but to take you there in, uh, in the physical and in the spiritual. And there was a place there in, in, in the Superstition Mountains where uh, there's two rattlesnakes with their heads in, combined together and uh, this one is blue or uh, one is cream colored and one is black and uh, the lady would do a ceremony there at, at the entrance of the cave and uh, sing a song uh, and, and, and these this snakes would part from each other and she was able to enter into the cave take a piece of the crystal from the cave and eat it and she eat it, she would sing her prayer, and all of a sudden a big, big rattlesnake, a chief rattlesnake would come to her. And she described it with uh, eyes like the moon and a star above its head, and when it spoke, 64 streams of lightning come out of the mouth. And she heard everything, when the lightning came out of the mouth of the snake, the rattlesnake, she could understand everything. And the little people guided her into the cave, and the little people are there as protectors of those type of people. Um, for, to some people, the little people are not good. To some people, the little people are dangerous because of what is in their heart. And so a lot of people don't want to go to these places where they live, don't want to go and talk to them because they have a fear of in something of inside of them. And so when I go and went to the Superstition Mountains, the first one that I had seen myself was a little man and so I went there wholeheartedly I didn't go there like in um, I wanted to know what's going on because many people kept on saying don't go there don't go there don't go there so I went there you know I'm gonna go there um, because it was calling me too at the same time I could hear the vibration and, 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 and the feeling of the mountains saying, come to me, visit me. So when I went to go over there to go visit them, I would do it by myself. And then I would have these experiences that were so tremendous, so, so, so much power in it. And uh, 
and was able to see what, what they wanted me to see. Um, and the little people one night, they came to visit me because I went to go visit them. So every single time I go to visit the little people in the mountain, I may not see them physically right there at that time, but they're there. They're watching, they're listening, and they're seeing everything that's happening. And so I leave them a little penny. They like copper, they like shiny things. They also like sweet things. But I had to make a deal with them. I had to make a deal with them. And I said, I cannot bring you no more sweet things, okay? because if I bring you sweet things, you might become a diabetic. And I don't want to be responsible for the community of little people being a diabetic, uh, because they're real. Um, so to uh, us, some of us, we still communicate with them and they help us and they can transport us to and from real fast. Their movements are quickly, they like lightning, they speed around all over the place. So it's hard for people in the reality of here on earth right now with the eyes that we have to really see them unless you're in tune to them. And uh, some people, they need medicines to see them. Some people, they need to see them another way. Simply some of us who were struck by lightning see them for what they are and, and are friends with them. They're friends with us because they help us from the spiritual world to the natural world. So if you will, they're kind of like intermediaries. I don't pray to them. They're my friends. Uh, they're, 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 they're fellow, they're part of the tree people. They're part of the stone people. They're part of all of the creation there. And uh, so the little people um, have a particular job and it's 